In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to curve text in Cricut Design Space, and I'm also going to be sharing some of my favorite tips to use when working with script font. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. If you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, please consider pressing that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Let's head over to the computer. Here in Design Space, I'm going to insert some text. We're going to type autumn and I'm going to just stretch this a little bigger here. And if we go up to the top where it says curve, click that, and then we can curve it two ways. So if we bring it over to the right, our word autumn is going curved down and you can go all the way around even. Or if we go over to the left, we are going curve in the opposite direction. So this is a very easy way to curve your text. However, if we were to duplicate this word, so we have it curved already, and if we went to the top right and press duplicate, we have another copy here. However, you'll notice at the top, the curve is now grayed out, so we can no longer change the curve on this word. You would have had to duplicate your word when your word was straight if you wanted both these words to have a different curve on them. But let's just get rid of this. And I'm also going to get rid of this. Now let's type in autumn again. And instead of our Cricut Sans font, let's go to the top and change it to a script font. And we're going to do Lily Bell. And let's try to curve our script font. So we'll go to the top and curve, and we're just going to drag our little circle over to the right. And you'll notice as I curve further and further, our letters are becoming detached from each other. And with a script font, you want to keep them together. So what are we going to do about that? The first thing you want to do is make sure you have it on the right curvature that you want. And in order to keep everything aligned and straight, I like to go to the side to shapes and insert a circle. Now we can unlock this circle in the bottom left corner. And then we're just going to stretch this out to make it about the same curvature as our word here. So we can adjust this until we get it where we want. Now I have most of the bottom letters touching the top of my circle here. So this is going to be our arch guide now. So let's click on our word autumn and we're going to go to the top right and press ungroup. And you have to decide what your center is. So the U right here on the left side of the U, that kind of looks like our center. So we are going to keep the U where it is and we're going to move the letters on the right side towards it and the letters on the left side of it towards it. So we can grab each individual letter now and just kind of scooch it over and make sure we're following our curve line here at the bottom. So let's attach our T to the U move our U over and then we can move our A over a bit as well. Now we can remove our circle and we've got a nice curve going with the word autumn. I think I got to move my N over actually just a little bit here so it overlaps a little better. There we go. And once you're happy with your word we're going to select all the letters and now we need to weld them together. If we were to make it like this, each letter would cut out individually. And we don't want that. We want this to be one solid image. So we're going to go to the bottom and we are going to press weld. And you can see in the layers panel here, we don't have individual layers for each letter anymore. We just have one solid image. Now, if you wanted a word to curve the other way and go under the circle, we can do that as well. So let's go over to text and let's type in the word harvest and I'm going to zoom out a bit here and we're going to do the same thing just opposite now so let's go back up to curb and this time we are going to drag that dot towards the left and we want to try to get it on a good curve angle and then if you find the word too big I think it might be a little big I probably should have checked beforehand what size font I did with autumn and did the same size font with harvest but that's okay we'll just play with this I'm going to shrink that down a little and because my T and my H are tall letters I'm going to have those go over the circle and just have my short letters be touching our circle here 
All right, I think that curve is good. So let's ungroup our letters at the top right. And the middle of this is probably between the R and the V. So I'm going to attach the R and V and just going to scooch them both over a little more to the middle. And then I'm going to bring our other letters in to attach. All right, let's move this circle away to see what it looks like. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with my word harvest. So I'm going to select all these letters and I'm going to weld those at the bottom right. And harvest is looking a little small again to me. So I can just stretch this out and make it a little bigger. And I can bring my circle in again to make sure everything's where I want it to be and bring that away and that looks pretty good. Now if I wanted to, I could insert an image between Autumn Harvest and I think a pumpkin would look really cute there. So I'm going to go find an image I uploaded earlier. Just typing in pumpkin and I like this pumpkin right here. Let's select that. I think I got that one from Design Bundles. And I'm going to size this down. And this fits really nicely in between our autumn harvest. Now I can get rid of my circle. I no longer need that because that was just our template. And if I were to select everything and press attach at the bottom, we could go ahead and cut this out and make a decal or a baby onesie or a cute little reverse canvas, whatever you want to make out of this design, it is ready to go. If you have any questions about curving fonts, let me know down in the comments below and I'd love to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in my next video, we will be using the design we created today in some fall decor. So you don't want to miss that. So make sure you have subscribed so that you'll be notified when I upload that video. I hope to see you back on more crafting adventures.